Hello and a very warm welcome to you to this week's Out and About. Now with the Indian economy being at such a high level, it's only natural that property was number one on many people's agenda and what better time to talk about it than at HDFC's annual property exhibition in London. We went along to the Hilton Metropole Hotel to find out more, so let's go along and check it out. So this is the 8th edition of HDFC India Homes Fair. This is the single largest NRI event which has been going on for so long. And it's such a matter of pride that we have this event going after every year, bringing people of Indian origin to one common platform and giving them an opportunity to invest in India. I'm very happy to uh, see this effort by SDFC uh, to uh, put together this event, uh, attracting uh, a large number of builders uh, from India coming here uh, to promote uh, investments in the real estate sector, which is uh, part of the larger uh, objective uh, of uh, attracting more and more investments in India's infrastructure. Now, as you know, India's economy is doing well. Uh, the new government has uh, new campaigns, new initiatives like uh, Invest India, Digital India, Smart Cities, Make in India. So there are huge opportunities uh, for investments uh, from this country uh, to India. And uh, I would, uh, in my conversations here, you know, I, uh, I said, you know, I would encourage, uh, you know, all uh, potential investors uh, to go online and see what the new government is doing particularly to enhance the ease of doing business in India. So uh, I, I think it's a good effort.
well, describing uh, Godrej Properties Limited, uh, we have been uh, in the system, uh, in the real estate industry since ages now. And we have projects, as you can see over here, it's, it's in a lot of major cities, including Gurgaon, Mumbai, Ahmedabad, Nagpur, Pune, and a lot of other hubs. We are operating for more than 25 uh, projects uh, in India today. And uh, yes, uh, our segment varies from 25 lakh to about 1 crore and higher end apartments from 3 crore, 5 crore, 7 crore. And uh, we've been very, very successful in uh, the real estate market. Basically, I think, you know, when HDFC started off around 30, 30, 33 years back, you know, the focus was more on Indians and a whole lot of non-resident Indians used to come back to HDFC saying that, you know, we have invested in this project, you know, we're not able to monitor it, we're not able to track it, we are losing money, there has been delays in the project. So we used to assist the NRIs in the past in monitoring their investments in India in general across the country. And over a period of time, this product also came up where we could also facilitate home ownership by the non-resident Indians in India by providing loans to them. And now this relationship has been built and we started off with uh, Dubai in the past and then it has got extended to London and Singapore and in general across the world. So we are hap very happy to serve the non-resident Indian community, persons of Indian origins who wish to buy homes in India, facilitate the process of not only giving you a loan but also help you identify the, uh, 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 the, the, the residential accommodation for you, maybe help you negotiate the prices for you, make sure the titles are clear, clear for you, make sure the titles are clear what you buy is clear for you. That's the role we wish to play and that's what we want to work with the non-resident community. See, first of all, events like from HDFC is very, very important because these are banks which has been established in India and people have taken maximum loans out of them. So you have an excellent reputation across the globe. And when we participate in this kind of an exhibition, of course, gives a lot of opportunity for others to know what kind of a products and what kind of a brand and how many projects, locations, everything comes to them in one single fence. And rather than just going shopping everywhere, you can get it in one single fence. That's very, very important for someone. And this, again, when you participate kind of with HDFC exhibitions, you give a lot of confidence for the people to even think about it because when you're sitting in abroad a lot of apprehensive I mean the people will be apprehensive they'll be skeptical about it where to invest how to invest who where the loan I'll get from so this gives a maximum opportunity for one
we've come here actually with a project called Embassy Springs um, and uh, primarily to promote that. It's a pre-launch offer that we have for the NRI segment here. Uh, it's a 300-acre integrated township uh, that we're promoting um, and we're actually promoting the scheme uh, of plots available from 84 lakhs onwards going up to about 2.5 crores. Um, the pre-launch is, is the offer for the NRIs and uh, we feel that HDFC event is always a great uh, platform to promote this because it gives the clients a huge amount of confidence um, uh, to invest back into India and with a brand like Embassy you, you, know, you know you're doing the right thing. My uh, message, short message is uh, that uh, the Indian origin community in this country should actively participate in India's growth story and in India's bright future. Some very fascinating insights indeed there, but there's much more still to come from the property exhibition after this very short break. So make sure you join us in part two. Welcome back to Out and About. Now, for those of you who have just joined us, may I remind you, today we're bringing you this Out and About episode from the HDFC annual property show from the London Hilton Metropole Hotel. Some very, very fascinating insights indeed to be gained. So let's head back to the exhibition to find out more. This is the eighth time that we are participating and um, over the last eight years we've uh, seen the highs and lows of what's happening in India and um, I think now after uh, Mr. Modi's win of last year and this whole emphasis in India uh, on, on growth and on GDP growth, uh, this is an exhibition which has happened now for the eighth time and we feel it is the most opportune time for Indians who are living abroad to actually look back at home in India because I think in some ways property prices from now on though they are very stable right now and uh, we, are, we are seeing not much uh, increase say maybe for the last six months and they're stable but I think as the government does the things that they have promised uh, the uh, GDP growth and the productivity and the you know everything is going to take off and with that we think that the housing and the house buyers needs and requirements again will I think will go up and so it's a very opportune time for people who are seriously wanting to a, either invest in India or more than I think invest is people who want to buy homes back home if they ever want to go back you know once you're much older or even otherwise have something in India I think this is an opportune time for you to for them to do that
We are really excited about being a part of uh, the HDFC exhibition. Uh, Lotha is uh, India's number one developer. We have um, uh, properties not only in Mumbai but also Pune, Hyderabad and uh, we've also expanded our global uh, footprint to uh, London. We have a presence in London. We've got uh, Grosvenor Square and all, we've also got one in Carey Street. Um, so uh, we, we've come up with uh, quite a few prestigious projects in the past couple of years. We've come up with uh, the World Towers in uh, Mumbai, which is uh, uh, what uh, the Shard is to London. It's going to be the world's tallest residential tower. Um, all our residences are interior de uh, designed by Giorgio Armani. And uh, we also have uh, Palava in um, Mumbai, which is uh, a 4,500 uh, acre project. It's a smart city. So um, we're right here in London. Uh, you know, it gives us accessibility to all the lovely people here in London. <laughs>
you are absolutely right. Uh, you know, even the Reserve Bank of India in the last four months has reduced the key policy rates by 50 basis points. Uh, Tuesday is another meeting and we are expecting uh, a further cut which may happen, which is likely to happen. And as you rightly said, uh, India is uh, likely to surpass China by 2017 and is likely to be the fastest growing major economy in the world. And uh, this is the and, and real estate you need to know is a major beneficiary of this economic growth. While it contributes to the economic growth, it's also a major beneficiary of this economic growth. There are a lot of destinations which are emerging in the country where there's an opportunity to invest. And um, you know, India has more than 1,600 cities and towns. You can't be investing everywhere. But having said that, India, as, we, as you rightly pointed out, I think is emerging. It's, a, it's, a, it's going to be the world's largest economy and a very good opportunity that would be created for non-resident Indians to invest, especially in the Indian real estate sector in India. My message to the NRIs would be that I think it is the opportune time. But you have to be very careful uh, where you're buying. Uh, who is the builder, what is his track record or her track record, has he delivered in the past, how is his situation, liquidity situation today. And I think the best way is to go and you know check it out from one of the financiers to find out what the, state, what the stage of the builder is or the project is in. My other suggestion would be to, yes, start investing where there is some work happening on the project. You know, in the past people used to be so, I would say, aggressive in some ways that somebody announced a project and they were willing to just put in the money let the work start let there be some uh, you know activity there and uh, i think um, the message would be that india is going to be the economy of the next couple of uh, next couple of decades and you shouldn't miss the bus wow some incredible properties being showcased there and with india's gdp at 5.4 and the economy being at its highest even overtaking china it's no surprise that property is most certainly a hot topic in india at the moment sadly that's all we've got time for this week but we hope you've enjoyed today's show and make sure you join us again next week for another out and about until then have a great weekend bye bye